hey guys, I uh, thought I'd just do a quick little channel update. Um, I've recently had results through for my grade three uh, ABRSM, so I did a practical exam and I also chose to do a theory exam. Um, and I got a distinction for both, which I'm super, super pleased about. Um, the theory went fine. Uh, I had enough time in the exam, like you do, it's like an hour and a half or something to double, triple, I think I even quadruple checked every single answer just to make sure that what I put down was exactly what I wanted to put down. Um, so there's plenty, plenty of time um, to do everything you want to in the exam. Um, the, the, it was an online exam. I don't know if any of you have done theory exams at the moment or are doing them at the moment, um, but it's all gone online and the software is really, really strange. Uh, it's, it's, I've got like, and I don't have a terrible computer. Like I've got a nice Mac. It's only 2017, I think. So it's not brand new, but it, it struggled to cope with the software. Um, and uh, I've struggled to click between things. And anyway, it wasn't, it, it wasn't comfortable. I might, I might give some feedback to AVRSM or the company that have, have put the software out. Um, but uh, yeah, the th theory exam went fine. The practical uh, was a lot more comfortable this time than it was for grade two. Grade two, I was so nervous. Um, I, I think it was because it was the first exam that I'd ever done, like a music exam. I, ne I didn't do any as a child. I did, I did one theory, grade one theory when I was a kid, but um, I didn't do any practical exams. So it was the first one and I was super nervous. And uh, most of it went well, this is the grade two, except the third piece, I, the, the C piece, which is like a jazzy piece. And I messed up the first two bars and so badly that I had to start the piece again. I messed them up again so I had to start for a third time. I messed it up for a third time. And at that point I thought, oh, I've, just, I've failed the exam. I must've failed the exam. So I thought, oh, I'll play through the piece anyway. And luckily for the fourth time, I got over that hurdle and managed to play it okay. And this was after I'd played the first two pieces and they, they'd gone fine. Um, anyway, so that was the pieces. Then the, everything else was kind of okay, except the oral test. Now the oral tests generally were okay, except for the singing. Now. I don't know if anyone's done practical exams, like you know that at one point, the examiner's gonna play a little melody, like a basic melody on the piano, and then you have to sing it back to them, and you have to do two or three of these. Now, most people are a bit nervous about it, I understand, because most people who go into the exams aren't singers. Now, I'm a singer, I'm supposed to be a singer, right? I've been working in, 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 the, in the West End here in London since like 2008, in, in, in musicals and stuff here, and I always sing in every single job, so, I'm supposed to be a comfortable singer, but I went in there and I could, I mean, I sang it back to him, but it definitely wasn't what he played. And I was like, oh my God, like I, I can't believe I messed that up. Um, it was, it's so embarrassing. Uh, luckily, I, you know, obviously they don't know what you do for a job. Otherwise it probably would have been worse. But this time, all of that went fine. Uh, the pieces all went fine. Uh, luckily the sight reading was just a piece in G major and I was really nervous because obviously for grade three they can give you up to three sharps or flats so I was dreading a piece in C minor or you know A major or something like that um, but luckily I just had the F sharp to worry about um, then the oral test went fine so generally speaking the whole exam went okay um, so so yeah that's the update um, I think generally speaking I'm glad that I'm doing sequential uh, exams because I think the reason this grade three practical exam went as well as it did was because I'd done the last one and I had some experience of what the exam conditions are like. Um, the first time, the re I think the reason I messed up so much in the first exam was because I know mean, a lot of people must relate to this, but I was just so nervous and I wasn't used to certain things. So when you when you finish playing your piece, so I finished by playing my first piece. And then there's this silence afterwards and the examiner who sat behind the desk um, is writing, as, as they do, is writing notes on what you've just done. And, uh, but, but it sounds like such a small thing, but you're not used to that silence afterwards and it made me tense up. And then it happened again after the second one. And then for the third piece, I was like, ah, oh. whereas this time I knew there was gonna be a silence. So I sat there comfortably, I chilled, I looked around, I sort of, I didn't play with the piano, but I sort of looked at the piano just to, you know, just relaxed a bit and looked at my sheet music and um and kind of felt more at home in the room and um and I had a little joke with the examiner at the start I mean I'm not suggesting everyone does this obviously um but I he said oh do you want to warm up on the piano you know just for 20 seconds or something just to get used to it and that's the other thing is that when you go into the exam room you're playing on a brand new piano 
Now, obviously I didn't know the piano this time, but I knew that the piano would be a different piano, if you see what I'm saying, like it would feel different, the action would be different, the sound would be different. So I was anticipating that change, whereas the first time around I was like, oh my God, new piano, new piano, new piano, and I was still getting used to it by the third, you know, second or third piece. Um, so I played a bit, I played a few scales, and then it came to the start of the exam, and the examiner said, oh, those were the scales I was gonna ask you to play anyway. So we had a little laugh. And then, and then, and then we did, and then I ended up playing those scales anyway. So it was, it was a little bit more relaxed. Um, anyway, so that's the little update. Um, let me know, uh, if, you know in the comments if you guys are doing exams, um, how they go for you, like what you know, what sort of feedback you've had, and, and if you find them useful. Maybe I'll do an, a video in the future about whether to do exams or not how useful they are. Personally, I, I already feel like I'm a bit of an exam junkie. Like I feel like sequential exams are gonna be useful for me because I, I, don't, I just don't think I can cope with a big jump in material level and sight reading and all that. Like I need that kind of gradual progression. And also I've benefited in this exam, like I said, by just doing an exam before. Like I, know, I feel like the format's comfortable. So I am more comfortable in the exam room. So sequential exams for me are, are, are gonna be useful. But anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, click the subscribe button and then you'll get any videos that I put up uh, straight away. And uh, yeah, I'll see you for the next one.